Hello, and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. Today we're going to talk about Facebook's crypto launch um, next, year, uh, next month, and could that push Bitcoin to 10K in June? Now, it is a possibility that it will push Bitcoin to 10K in June. Bitcoin's already around 8,000, so we just need one more burst to push it to 10,000. However, I must warn that if we get to 10,000, I think there is likely to be a rejection and a fairly larger trace once we around get around that 10,000 barrier. I do not think we will push past 10,000 that easily the first time. Um, however, that is a psych big psychological barrier, and I think if we can really push that, that's when all the altcoins will really start coming up in value because people will see that we are actually in a bull market and they'll have more confidence to diversify back into the altcoins. So that's why 10,000 is important. Facebook's uh, Libra coin or global coin or whatever they decide to call it, um, I've heard that they're calling it global, then they're not calling it global, then they are. I don't really care what they call it. It doesn't really matter. They could call it the Facebook sucks coin and that would be fine with me. But um, Facebook's coin, it might actually get mainstream attention and I think it will get mainstream attention. Facebook is one of the largest companies in the world and uh, it has a lot of social media users that might get some press um, if indeed it launches. And the white paper is due to come out this month. The coin launch, I'm not exactly sure when the coin launch is going to be. I Hopefully it's going to be soon. Um, some people might see this as competition for uh, like money transfer coins, remittance coins. That might be so, but I think f overall for the cryptocurrency market, this is a good thing because it will garner attention um, to from the media to the market and that could start a FOMO. Um, and we know that cryptocurrency rises and falls based on FOMOs, uh, based on expectations, and based on mainstream media press coverage. And that's why Facebook could help uh, spike Bitcoin in June to 10K. There's an analyst, um, a fairly prominent analyst, who says that based on historical trends, historically May has been the best performing month for BTC. And that showed through last month. But based on the RSI, as well as... Um, other metrics such as the trailing high for the same time span and a trailing low, Bitcoin is poised to make another jump in June, maybe to 10K. And according to this analyst, the stats alone are reassuring enough for Bitcoin bulls to cast worry aside. And the vet, and he's a veteran hedge fund trader and he believes that this seasonality factor extends to the month of June from May. I'm not really sure if it does. I remember last year, May, June, it was kind of like on and off. By the time like summer rolled around, June, July, August, it was really on and off. I don't exactly know the gains and losses for each month. I'm not really sure if it's much of a seasonality factor, but in June, we are looking forward to more institutional adoption. We're looking forward to Facebook launch. We're looking forward to um, possible back launch next July, as well as SBI launch and a lot of other stuff like that. So I feel like people might get excited for those things. And that combined with the fact that Facebook is stepping into crypto, meaning that a large corporation is lead, uh, lending its own credence into the crypto blockchain industry might pump the industry up, possibly to 10K. I do think it'll experience a rejection at 10K, um, but at least it can get us there the first time. And I think, you know, the second or third time we can actually punch through 10K and go much higher because we need to get through that barrier first before we can get higher and higher. Right now we're having a lot of trouble at 8K and in the next couple of days we actually might retrace, but Facebook's launch of Global Coin, well, not really launch, white paper launch of Global Coin might actually help us get past 10K, and that's what I'm hoping. Now, obviously, it's not a guarantee. There are a lot of people that don't like global coin in the world of crypto because it's Facebook, centralized, corporatist, whatever. I don't really care about that. If it can actually help my investments and push the overall market up, which will drag all the other coins up with it, even remittance coins, I'm fine with Facebook global coin doing whatever it's doing as long as it improves my portfolio. Not really concerned. I, I personally, I'm in this for investment. I'm in this for money. I'm not really concerned about Big Brother or you know central uh, centralized centralization decentralization from a money perspective. I am an investor, and if this event can actually push the price of Bitcoin up, which will drag the rest of the industry up, I am all for it. Because even if it gets rejected at 10,000, it is the first assault on that barrier. And the, soon, the sooner we can assault that barrier, the sooner we can push um, push it down and get back to growing past 10,000. So that's why I'm bullish about the Facebook move. I think this uh, article does have some credence uh, that it could push Bitcoin past 10,000, um, could help us breach that dam, 
and could get more more mainstream crypto notice and adoption because it will bring people's eyes on crypto if someone like Facebook um, actually adopts it. Now, once Facebook does, I mean, there's a chance that Amazon or eBay or others will actually create their own coin as well. Um, I don't really know what each of these individual coins would actually do to the market overall, but overall they will definitely give crypto more mainstream attention, more mainstream adoption, and it can show people that the cryptocurrency world is actually serious and that could bring more investor money into not only those coins, because those coins are probably going to be seal coins, but into cryptocurrency overall, which would infuse us with a new surge of cash. And that is what is desperately needed in crypto for us to pass the last all time high. So I'm hoping that global coin does spur cryptocurrency mass adoption. Yes, it will be competition for remittance coins. I really don't care about that. I think it's going to help them as well uh, because it, I think it's probably going to work in different corridors. I think global coin will mainly work in the major corridors and things like XRP, XLM will work in the smaller, more exotic corridors like they've said. And I really do believe that it would be a pretty big boost for the crypto community if it can bring more money into other cryptocurrencies due to the press coverage from something like Facebook. So that is the coverage for today. Uh, thank you and check out my social media. It's all in my description. Like and subscribe and hit that notifications bell button. Thank you and have a nice day.